So this is a story about the easiest 25 pounds I've ever lost in my life. And I don't want y'all to think, oh, well, losing this 25 pounds was easy. Let me tune in. Nah, it was hard. But, you know, considering that I've never lost 25 pounds in my life and the way in which I did it, it was pretty easy once I got acclimated to the process. So let me just kind of tell you this story. I was actually at the gym and I was, you know, my workouts are crap or whatever. So I was just scrolling down Instagram as I was air quote working out. And I stumbled across this ad, right? This big swole ripped guy was in the front. He was like, we want 42 men in the Houston Paraland area at Alliance BJJ workout challenge, change your life. And I'm like, all right, there's some, some good branding, some, some good advertising going on. So I actually clicked it and it was this six week weight loss challenge. You know, you put in this deposit type deal. If you lose 20 pounds in six weeks, you get your money back easy peasy lemon squeeze or at least i would think uh you know that hey you know i can just i can lose 20 pounds in six weeks who who can't right my big thing is that i can do any workout i just need you know someone to put me there right i'm only disciplined if i have structure so i'm like cool this will give me some fun little structure okay okay and once we get there like hey we'll 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 see what happens and this almost was the biggest mistake i've ever made in my life i almost didn't do this i almost was like yeah i don't like change and you know when you're out of shape when you're at that point in your life you know it's easy to doubt yourself it's easy when when all that misery creeps up in your mind and it, it'll almost make you not want to you know do something good but you know we we went ahead and did it and i set up this little cons consultation we went to alliance bjj and they told me to look for a cat named marco and marco wasn't there so i met this guy named mike mike is my Muay Thai coach now. Now I call him my Muay Thai coach, but at first he was just, you know, Coach Mike. You know, Mike's a very unassuming dude. You know, he's smiling, jokes, very welcoming, inviting, and we're having the consultation. And, you know, we almost spent a whole hour on just like what my plan is. It was a very thorough. He he wanted to know what I wanted to do. He gave recommendations and he was like, hey, do you like my, my recommendations? Like it was a very cool, chill little setup, right? And I'm like, man, this Mike guy is all right. You know, I, I, was, I, was, I was like, what do you coach, Mike? And he was like, oh, I'm the Muay Thai coach. And, you know, me and Mike hit it off so much that's the reason why i do muay thai because he just happened to be muay thai guy now what makes him unassuming is that you know he says hey with a smile on his face hey, hey man we're gonna have fun don't worry about it and you think you're gonna have fun before you start huffing and puffing falling down on purpose and back crawling backwards now i don't say that to scare anybody away but i think this part of the process you're one of two people right you're either the type of person that runs into adversity and you crumble and you quit or you run into adversity and you meet it head on and you continue to move towards your goals that's what i think orientation is really for and it's very humbling in that way you go to you know to orientation you line up on the mat and you do this series of small moves right My, you know mike calls them you know practical moves that we use every day a lot of stuff i've never used before but whatever you learn how to fall down you learn how to throw kicks you learn how to not hurt each other doing stuff and before you know it you're exhausted at this orientation and that's humbling right not like oh i'm training for the olympics and i'm tired no like these are the simplest of moves that we use in, in, in classes every single day and you are exhausted right do you quit or do you continue to move forward a lot of people quit at this point but if if, if anything's worth having it's worth working for right so once you get past the orientation phase that's when you go into your six weeks of training and not even that's easy and just you know me being you know never done muay thai before never done any type of combat sports before it's a very jarring experience to to just walk in i'm an adult i'm 30 to just walk into something and just be the worst out of everybody and the room right it's a very different experience it's a very humbling humbling experience and it just makes you shut up learn and just go through the process right if you could just handle that part just shutting up being you're going to be tired you're going to be frustrated but if you just shut up and learn and go through the process it's going to start happening for you let me just further explain one weekend right so I practice on, I go to class on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, right? Muay Thai Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do boxing also, and we spar on Fridays. So I'm super exhausted on Tuesday, super exhausted on Thursday, super exhausted on Friday. We do it all over again. I got to go to the store to get Pedialyte now. I need more water. Hey, I'm Googling what do I do when this part of my body hurts, but I keep doing it. Are you going to fold or are you going to push through that adversity, right? Week two, same old dance. Tuesday. Thursday, Friday, I'm exhausted, right? But by the time I got to Tuesday of week three, I noticed something. I'm huffing and puffing less. 
I can stand out and not fall out before practice is over. That part of my body that was hurting the first two weeks is hurting a lot less now because I'm just going through the motions and I'm just, hey, this is what this is. I'm accepting what this is. It's not gonna be easy, but anything worth having is worth working for. So I'm just still huffing and puffing. Don't get me wrong. I'm still moving slowly. I'm still probably the worst in my class at it. And look, Mike's such a good dude. And me and him have this thing that we did that whole four or five weeks. He'll he'll look at me and be like, you okay, Vox? Like he, he loves to check on the new people. So don't think you're just a shark in the water here, right? Like he, he checks on the new people. Like, Vox, you okay? I'm like, you know, we're working, coach. I didn't want to say I was okay because I'm tired. I'm exhausted. No, I'm not okay. But we're just working. And if you just take the mindset of, hey, I'm just working, then you're going to, you know, accept the process a lot more. So by the time we get to week three and I'm a lot less exhausted, I actually walked up to coach. I said, now, coach, don't take this any kind of way. I'm not bragging, right? But I do feel like my, my conditioning is getting a little better and I can enjoy your class. I can enjoy your class a little bit more because you can't throw kicks when you're tired. You can throw 10 punches when you're out of shape, but you can't throw 20. Once you get to a certain conditioning where, oh, I can throw kicks all day. I can throw, you know, you know, this many punches. You enjoy class better. So now I'm actually enjoying class to where my first few weeks, I'm just trying to survive until it's over with. Now I can be like, hey, coach, show me that combo we did. Hey, coach, at what range should I, you know, try to kick the legs, right? Coach, what happens if somebody clenches me here? And before you know it, I'm enjoying practice. So, you know, we get to Tuesday I'm excited I'm jumping around I'm ready to know what the next combo is we get to Thursday oh we did the combo that we worked on Tuesday but we add a kick to it Friday everything we learned Tuesday and Thursday I'm gonna try to apply it in sparring and I'm enjoying it now and before you know it it's week four or five for me and I'm like hey coach what are we working on today? He said, I don't know, but just hop on the scale and just uh, tell me where you're at just for the progress. And I've accidentally just lost 20 pounds in week four. The, the damn challenge says, hey, can you lose 20 pounds in six weeks? And I've done it in four. Well, it's too late to turn around at this point. I'm already in better shape, not in the best shape in the world because I'm still, I'm still out of shape. We still working. I'm still on my journey. But... I'm in better shape to do what I want to do now. Hey man, let's let's just keep on going. And you just you just keep doing it. You keep doing it. And before you know it, it's easy at the end of the process. And I don't want to say easy like the work is easy, but I can get through a, an entire practice now and be like, huh, I didn't even need a water break. Look at that. Hey, I didn't have to sit down or take a knee or pass out or anything. I feel good after this workout. And in the middle of, of, of my training, in the middle of my six week challenge, I started to come to practice like twice a day. You know, I'll, I'll come at, at the noon class, then we'll do two night classes. I'm, I'm doing three a days now because I'm in better shape and I enjoy it. Ultimately, this is what I learned from it. And this may not even be the case, right? But this is just what I, what my own personal interpretation is, right? This challenge was not about can you lose 20 pounds in six weeks? This challenge was more so about, okay, well, will, will you quit when you run into this first adversity? No? Okay. What about the second or third time? Okay, you're not here. So you're just going to naturally get in better shape, right? Then this turns into, okay, well, can you just dedicate yourself to coming to workouts? You know, whenever, how many times a week, three times a week, two, three, four times a week. Can you just dedicate yourself to that? Can you dedicate yourself to eating better outside of the workout? I think this had nothing to do with, with losing 20 pounds in six weeks and i say that because i lost 20 pounds in four right and i did it easily all i had to do was just show up and that's what made it easy once i got into that first pocket of better conditioning that's when okay i'm just showing up learning how to kick now i'm just showing up learning how to punch all the weight loss stuff just kind of came extra right so i asked myself is this really about losing 20 pounds or was this really about the lifestyle change was this really taking control of my life was this really hey i need to eat better let me take let me let me take initiative to eat better that's what this six week challenge is all about not just some little short term thing because you can lose 20 pounds in, in six weeks and gain 20 pounds in 14 days when you're done it's can you be consistent and I finished my six week challenge with flying color smoke that I actually lost 26 pounds, but you know, who's counting. But at the end of the day, I thought it was such a good idea to just join the gym full time. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's not like, Hey, I just wanted to use y'all for this and leave because when I leave, I lose my structure. So I take this 
brand new structure I have. I have this 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 new appreciation for nutrition and working out and being healthy and stuff like that. So now I'm a full time member of Alliance BJJ. And I was a part of their six week fit challenge and I lost the easiest 25 pounds I've ever lost in my life.